Hello beautiful people. <laughs> Get excited. I am trying a new deep conditioner and I'm pretty psyched out about it. Um, I'm going to show you what's up under this hat. It's not pretty, but <laughs> basically it's going to be the Curls um, Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Mask. Um, I have was using TGIM for like six months and then I went back to a Shea Moisture one. I like it, but I don't love it. And I was like, you know what, let's try something different. And I have been using their leave-in conditioner, and I love it. And I was like, you know what, let's try it. So we're going to give it a try. Um, this is a no judgment zone. I just want to state that. I basically have been pre-pooing for almost 24 hours. I was supposed to wash my hair last night, and I got too tired. Like, I put my pre-poo in, and then put it in a bun and then went to bed so it's even still damp in the middle this is kind of nice considering the only thing in my hair is oil and water and like old products from the week but i am not going to show you the whole wash day all that stuff if you want to update it one just let me know basically i'm just gonna shampoo and condition my hair and then come back when i'm applying the deep conditioner and let you know what i think okay okay all right Okie dokie. So this is going to be a true test because the first wash day of the month, I always do like my protein wash day. Um, and whenever I do that, my hair still feels pretty soft, but it's just a little bit more harsh on my hair. So this is going to be a true test as to how conditioning this stuff is. I'm not gonna go through like all the ingredients and things like that because those are things that are very easy to find. Um, I will say there's a lot in here that I don't know how to pronounce, so yeah, some people might care about that. I really don't, honestly. Um, but I will tell you what it's supposed to do. So, deep penetrating intensive conditioning hair mask guaranteed to prevent breakage, repair damage, and enhance growth. Formulated with certified organic blueberry extract, aloe leaf juice, and chamomile, which I like. Um, clinically proven to repair, protect, restore, and grow your curls. And make some big claims about growth here. Soften, detangle, moisturize, condition, hydrate your curls while repairing damage, blah, blah, blah. So they basically the same thing over and over again. All right, let's go. Mm. I love the way this line smells. Oh, it's a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. Holy cow. I don't know why I didn't expect it to be that thick. Okay. This is how I do it. I do this, and then I go to my ends first so that I know I'm getting them. And then right here, because that's always super duper dry in the middle. There is not a lot of slip to this. It smells so good. I get my edges and then my undercut that I'm growing. Look at that. And I really focus it on those two. I love the way it smells. I'm not used to deep conditioners that are this thick because I told you I've been using TGIN and that is like a very, it's not thin, but it spreads like super easy. Um, and I kind of got used to that since I was using it for so long. So this does not spread as easy. Right here. I guess my hair could be a little more wet instead of so towel dry. Like it. I'm just not used to it being so thick and I feel like I would accidentally start using too much because I am like nervous that I'm not covering my whole head. I'm wondering if I applied this in the shower would it kind of be better but ooh. Is that enough? Okay, I feel as though the longer it sits on my hair, the better it gets. Look at that. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. We will see how this does after it sits on my head. I'm going to do the same exact thing to the other side and heat it up. 
Hopefully you can hear me over the shower. I'll try to talk pretty loud. Um, I'm gonna do this a little different because it's 9 p.m. You guys know how long washing goes take to dry and I know it's not gonna be dry before it's time for me to go to bed. I'm gonna do my wash and go in the shower and I didn't wanna get out of the shower and you see my hair super defined and freak out thinking that it was the deep conditioner. Um, so I'm gonna take this off, I'll just do it while I talk. I'm gonna take this off and kind of feel my hair and tell you what I think about it and then I'll tell you how it felt to me as I was rinsing it out in the shower and all that good stuff. So I can tell you one thing. It is not what I was expecting. Like the second that I started putting it in my hair, I was kind of like disappointed, thinking that it wasn't gonna be as moisturizing. Um, I don't know why I jumped the gun in my head thinking like, huh, I don't like this. This is incredible. Holy moly. I'm just, it's been so long since I've used a deep conditioner this thick that it kind of threw me off. But as it, like just feeling it in my hair, <laughs> I feel like my hair just soaked it up. Like this is crazy. And my hair naturally is like super crazy soft. Um, so I can always like personally tell the difference between a product making my hair soft and my hair just kind of being soft on its own. My hair definitely feels moisturized. I can tell already that it did a phenomenal job. But um, I'm gonna hop in the shower. I'm gonna do my hair and then I'll come back and tell you my final, final thoughts and what I think about this stuff. This is thoughts about my new friend we're friends um i genuinely really like it um if i had to go on a scale of one to ten i think i would give it an 8.999999 yeah the smell i give it a hundred <laughs> i love the smell of this stuff i've said it so many times because it smells so freaking good and I actually did use the leave-in conditioner with my wash and go as well. But so my experience of rinsing it out in the shower, was it like the most moisturized my hair has ever been? No, I think I will give it, it's kind of going back and forth between my second favorite deep conditioner of all time and my third favorite deep conditioner of all time. So I don't know if this is in, I think it might be in third place, but maybe in second place. Um, but I will say the number one thing that this definitely did that I haven't had a deep conditioner do in a long time is as I was rinsing it out, like after the product is like leaving my hair, my hair felt so smooth. Like I don't know how else to describe it other than that. Like it was soft, yes, but my hair soft anyway. It was moisturized, yeah, but I do a pretty good job of moisturizing. Like, I'm used to my hair being moisturized, so it was nothing, like, super amazing on, like, those two terms. But the smoothness that I felt in my hair after the deep conditioner was out of my hair is and was incredible. So, this is, like, going to be sitting on top of my deep conditioner pile, and I'm going to keep using this. And maybe I'll update you guys later, but if you have not tried it, I absolutely absolutely would go try it I, overall i love it i'm obsessed with the smell my hair looks and feels amazing i can dig it um that was corny so i'm gonna eat dinner and go to bed basically try it if you've never tried it i'm kind of rambling at this point but as always thank you guys so much for watching my videos and subscribing i really don't deserve you guys especially with my inconsistency i'm sorry I'm a human. But yeah, I'm gonna shut up now. Good night. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.